This is the Fent Vario 1050, the German giant, the undisputed king of the dirt. This isn't just a tractor. It's a 46,000-pound mobile power plant. That is 15 family sedans stacked into one frame. It stands 12 feet tall. The rear tires, 8 feet of solid rubber. When you're in the cab, you aren't just driving. You're looking down on the roofs of houses. It's the largest standard tractor on the planet, built for jobs that break everything else. Under the hood lies a 12.4-liter man engine, 517 horsepower. But horsepower is just a number. Torque is the truth. This beast unleashes 1,700 foot-pounds of raw pulling power at just 1,100 RPM. It doesn't scream. It growls. It doesn't struggle. It dominates. The secret sauce? Vario Drive. It's the world's first independent axle system. The front and rear wheels work separately. If the mud gets deep, the power shifts instantly. Total control, zero slip. It has more grip than a mountain goat on a cliffside. No gears to shift, no lag, just relentless, unstoppable momentum. On the pavement, it's a freak of nature. While other heavy hitters crawl, the 1050 hits 37 miles per hour. That's warp speed for a machine this size. In the field, it's a total cheat code. One Fent 1050 does the work of three standard tractors. What used to take a week, this monster finishes in 48 hours. Step into the life cab and you've left the farm for the future. It's a digital cockpit, high-res touchscreens, customizable joysticks, 360-degree cameras. With GPS guidance accurate to a single inch, the tractor practically drives itself. You aren't a farmer anymore. You're a pilot in a half-million-dollar private jet that happens to pull a plow. But power comes with a massive catch. To keep the heart beating, you need an 800-liter fuel tank. That's over $1,000 every time you hit the pump. Then there's the weight. Critics say 46,000 pounds is too much. It crushes the soil, packing the earth so tight that air and water can't get through. It's a titan that leaves a permanent scar on the land. The price tag? Start at half a million dollars and keep going. For that money, you could buy a fleet of Ferraris or a literal mansion. So, is it the ultimate tool for the future of food or just an expensive display of overkill? Is the German giant worth the investment or is it just too much machine? Drop your thoughts in the comments.